Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make green curry. Now this green curry I'm going to make with meat. My meat of choice today is beef. You can use mutton, you can use lamb, you can use whatever meat that you want. Okay? Chicken. Now this is a very spicy curry made with greens. Now greens of my choice they will be coriander and mint leaves. So let's get started. I'm going to take my blender and make my curry paste. For my curry paste I'm going to take first two chopped tomatoes. What I'm going to add is one full pot of garlic. I'm not bothered to you know peel them off because they're baby garlic. The skin of the garlic is fine. Next I've added two medium sized onions. I peel them. Next I'm going to add is coriander and mint leaves. One big bunch of it. Make sure you use the stem as well because the stem gives you a lot of flavor. Any which means it's going to be made into a paste so you don't have to really worry about the stems you know bothering while you're eating okay so I've added now my coriander and my mint leaves next I've taken around 10 green chilies 10 to 12 green chilies. If you want, you can reduce the amount if you do not like it very spicy. Now first, I've just uh, roughly grinded the bottom of the of the spice paste, not completely, so that I can add my other spices. First I'm going to add Cumin, that's one tablespoon of, sorry, one teaspoon of cumin and next I'm going to add is two, now two to three inches of cinnamon stick. Next I'm going to add around 9 to 10 cloves and around 10 to 15 peppercorns. That's it with my spices. That's all I'm going to add. Next I'm going to add around 2 inches of baby ginger. What I've done is I've taken a little bit of, I've taken about a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a little oil and what I'm doing is I'm marinating my meat. This is around 700 grams of meat that I've taken. So this is all that I'm going to use now for my meat curry. Just turmeric and a little bit of oil. So what I've done right now is I've put my pressure cooker on the gas. I've also taken three medium sized potatoes and I've cut them into halves you see them three medium sized potatoes cut them into half and added that to my
I'm not going to use oil. I'm directly adding my meat because I already added oil to the meat earlier while it's marinating. I put that directly to my cooker. And I'm going to add two to three bay leaves. That's it. And I'm going to fry my meat. So once the meat slightly browns from all sides, I'm then going to add my spice paste that I blended in my mixture. As you can see now, the meat has almost browned from all sides. I'm now going to add my spice paste which I prepared earlier. Wow, that's lovely. It's all green. I let it fry for a while. I can feel you know now it's, it's time now to add the water in my in the mixture or the blender where I used to blend my paste, spice paste. I put water in that, about three cups of water. And that's it. All I'm going to add now is my seasoning, which is my super seasoning that I use. So which means I'm not going to add salt if I'm adding this. That's it. About a teaspoon and a half. Super seasoning. And my green curry is all ready to cook. Nothing else is required. All I'm doing now is covering my cooker with the lid and I'm going to let it cook for about 4 to 5 whistle on medium flame. Let it whistle 4 to 5 times on medium flame. We'll be back once it's done. So here you go, my meat curry is ready to eat. I've served it along with flatbread. And if you like my recipe, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click on the like button. Also ensure that you don't forget to click on the bell button. So that you, you know, bell icon so that you get notification about the next recipe that I'm going to post. I hope you like my recipe. You will try it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.